niin, nyt ollaan täällä takaisin. Tosiaan nyt piti käynnistää kone uudestaan sitten. Tämä Windows, Windows siis. Did you call? Yes, I did. Drive faster. We'll save him, Erica. Erica? Wait for backup. Screw backup. They won't be here in time. We've got to find the cane killer before he hurts Scott. Why is this locked? The cemetery should still be open. They're about to close for the night. They must have locked this gate before some of the others. We can go around to the east end. No, we won't have time. The gate is secured with a padlock. We've got no key, no time to get one. Those two don't work together. I don't have time right now. Why is this locked? They're about to close for the- No. We Why is this lock? They're about no. Yes. This is all I could find that the cover of the. I'm sure McAdams can't wait to hear what we're doing. I'll take the blame. Sure, that'll make it all better, especially since he took you off the case. My brother isn't there. I don't give a rat's ass what McAdams thinks. Right. But that one, that one. Toimiiko toi oikeassa elämässä? Ehkä toimii, ehkä ei, mutta toisaalta Ukrainassa ne on avannut koja on paljon yhden niin kuin... Ja joskus voi ehkä toimii. Päästiin sitä vähän eteenpäin tässä perissä. What is it, Red? Just my... my intuition, I guess. Weird. There's a trail here. These look like fresh footsteps. The trail dies out quickly. I wonder... I could try using my intuition. It's always been good, but now that Scott's in danger, it's crazy strong. I'm not sure that I can trust it. 
I've had this weird talent since I can remember. I can see images from the past, from certain objects, by touching them and focusing on them. I can always see a faint aura on the things I know hold visions. Statue. I can't break it off with my bare hands. Ugh. It's I'm in a cemetery and the only shovel in sight is stuck in a marble hand. Please be all right. Any ideas? Stay focused. We keep searching. What the hell? John. This is definitely the Kane killer's work. Take a look around.
John, come with me. Sure. Don't need to What did you want? Let's take a look around. The cane killer was dig. I can't dig with. John, will you take this and dig? I know there's something here. And you take your coffee with two sugars and no milk? John, this isn't funny. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Sure, but I'm about to find out. Missing something. I need to figure out what do you think knowing the track. What the hell does that mean? This has got to be the place. There's some... I'm missing some... I'm missing... This must be the right piece. Here goes nothing. Erica, we should wait for backup. I, I may not have your intuition. But even I can see, this is a really bad idea. There's no time! Scott's life depends on me now. What am I doing wrong? Come on, Erica, think! John, let me do this. That's it. Whoa. Uh -huh. It's a trap. Get out of there. It's a trap. Only read blood. Of course. He's watching us. And only my Don't blood will me. open this door. That's ridiculous. He might not even be here right now. I'm not taking that chance. Step off that crazy thing, now! You stay right there! Whoa, 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 Red! <laughs> stay the hell back, John. Eric, think this through. <laughs> he has my brother in there. 
my baby brother. I appreciate what you're doing, but step the fuck back because I'm doing this. Fine. Erica, it's not too late to think this through. I'm fine. God damn it! Why do you have to be so damn stubborn? Please get me out of here. Oh, Scott. What has he done to you? Uh -huh. This trap is for me. Scott and I were the Kane Killer's newest targets. The bastard. He takes siblings. Uh -huh. Oh, Scott. What has he done to you? Scott, are you all right? I'm so glad you're here. Hold on, Scotty. I'm going to get you out of here. Ugh. Damn it! The cables lead to that panel. I can say the guest. These curtains look pretty old and flimsy. Talk about a fire hazard. Candelabra. It fits his M.O. He likes to decorate everything. As if it's some sort of ritual, it's sick. Having these so close to the curtains isn't a very good idea. This seems to be connected to the trap. Maybe I can deactivate it from here. I'm not trained for disabling Let these. Maybe I can call Terence. He's good with this stuff and he studied Kane's previous traps. Hello? Terence, what's your location in ETA? We're on route 15 minutes. That's too late. I have one of his traps going off in T minus 10. Um, is it attached to Scott? Send me a picture. Scott? 
See it? Yeah. He's used something similar before. You have to cut the wires in the reverse order from the way they were connected. How the hell am I supposed to know how it was connected? I'm sorry. I, I don't know what else to tell you, Erica. Okay, just hurry. Think, Erica, think. Erica. I'm figuring this out. Hang in there.
Ja, aber ich. Ey. Aina myöhässä paikalle.
By the time you find him, you won't be able to do anything about it. You'll be blind from staring at that screen in the dark. I like it this way. I can be half asleep and work at the same time. Egg sandwich? It's two in the morning. Exactly. Time for breakfast. Uh. Did you hear? Davies closed the cane killer case. I heard. And yet, here you still are at 2 a.m. I'm just... making sure everything's in order before it's sent to the archives. Why are you here? I pick up my phone in the middle of the night. Apparently you don't. Oh, crap. I didn't hear it ringing. Davies? I'm sure it isn't pretty. No, it ain't. Lots of blood and guts, they say. <laughs> or maybe I dreamed it. You sure you don't want your egg sandwich? You can have it. Come on, Skippy. Davies will have our ass if we don't show up ten minutes ago. You know how I hate that name, don't you? I do, Skippy. Man, that egg sandwich smells good. You sure? <laughs> Let's go. Excuse me, officer? This is a crime scene, ma'am. I'm going to ask you to please step back unless you have official business here. Excuse me, ma'am. This is a crime scene? Special Agent Reed. This is Special Agent McCoy. FBI. We're on official business. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know. You can go in. Sir, ma'am. <laughs> you must be new. You're far too polite. Officer Jonathan Duffer. Yes, I just recently graduated from the academy. It's an honor to serve the city. Ah, fresh blood. Doesn't that make you all warm and tingly inside? No, but I'm sure this crime scene will. What exactly happened in there? I hear they found a body hanging. Murder, apparently. I don't know much else. Like I said, I just started at the force, so they have me standing guard. You're gonna have to talk to your people inside. I don't know why the FBI was called in. <laughs> You're not so the only one wondering. Body. Thank you, officer. Who found the body? A bum found the body, but uh, he didn't see anything. Who interrogated him? I heard it was Director Davies herself. Uh, you work for her, don't you? Must be quite an honor. She's something, all right. Something. <laughs> it be that almost done. Any other witnesses? Nobody heard or saw anything from what I've heard. Ain't this a lucky day. Thank you, officer. No problem, agent, and I'm sorry again. Never apologize for doing your job, kiddo. Yes, sir. So why are we taking this case again, John? It looks like regular police work to me. Beats me. Davies requested it. Okay. Looks appropriately creepy. Why can't killers choose a nice, comfortable spot for once? With good lighting. I'll let John socialize. I'll go do some work. The hell is that supposed to mean? Hey, you wanna hear about it? So we got there. Let's go. Finally, you get your ass down here. My ass was busy closing Scott's file. Look around and then come talk to me. And John, please wipe your mouth. I can smell that egg sandwich all the way over here. Uh, hey, it's a good sandwich, ain't it? What do you say, Galaga? Sure, if you want to drop dead from a heart attack. <laughs> hey man, I'll back you up. They don't know what they're missing.
Poor bastard. <laughs> Brutal. Suicide? Agent, if it was suicide, I wouldn't be here at 2.30 in the morning. Some people don't have any sense of humor around here. <laughs> I left it in my bed when I got Davies' call. Davies. Not now, Reed. Go do your job. The painting looks fresh. Mm. Hey, Gareth. Hello, theater. Agent Reed. Gallagher? Reed. What do we have here? White male, mid-40s, cause of death, strangulation. So he was definitely killed by the hanging? No doubt about that. He suffered a very agonizing death. The cerebral hypoxia was as slow as it could have been. English? Deprivation of oxygen to the brain. Any signs of struggle? Not exactly, but there are marks on the body. Bowlby can fill you in on his theories. Any idea how someone got him up there without struggling? I can't say for sure without running an autopsy. Look at the spots in the shirt. Most likely saliva. In victims of hanging, the tongue protrudes by the pressure on the jaw, causing it to dry. My best guess is that the saliva was then caused by some kind of a drug used prior to the suffocation. The killer must not have been strong enough to do this without drugging the victim. John Doe here is very well built. I couldn't take him. Are you kids done theorizing? I'd like to get back to my work. A very slow death, you say? I believe he was not dropped, but rather raised with the rope. Add to that the height of this table, just tall enough for the victim to reach it with his toes from time to time, allowing for the compression of the trachea to stop every once in a while. What about loss of consciousness? The weight of the body causes the compression of the airway, arteries, and jugular veins. If done correctly, the victim should pass out in a matter of seconds. But in this case, you can see how his brain expanded. Look at the veins in his forehead. He stayed conscious for at least 30 to 45 minutes, maybe more. <laughs> Whoever did this must have really hated the guy. Uh -huh. He also defecated. It's another sign of prolonged cases of suffocation. So that's the smell. And Davies pinned it on my sandwich. <laughs> Lovely as ever, John. What else can you tell us? I'm trying to finish my work, if you don't mind. Stop by the morgue tomorrow and we can talk more. And bring something to keep Bowlby entertained and stop him from coming down to interrupt me when I'm working. Hey, I heard that. Good. When did they move forensics? They just moved him into our building this week. Temporarily, they said. Thankfully, it's only him. I'd go crazy if they brought the whole forensics freak show. Have you looked at yourself in the mirror lately? Excuse me now. Yeah. I'd like to finish this so I can get back home to my cats. Cats lady. I'll bug you again if I need more info. Try to be quick. Hey, buddy. How's it going? The Erica herself. I'm trying to finish quickly so I can go get some freaking sleep. I'm a tech geek. I shouldn't be doing all this crap. Where's your team? Uh, there's a lot of shit hitting the department right now, so we're low on manpower. How's it hanging, McCoy? Weird to see the FBI all over this. I don't make the rules, pal. Have you gotten any prints? <sighs> Nothing. It's super clean. This person knew what they were doing. Been searching around, but I can't even find a partial. How can the guy who did this struggle so much and not leave any traces behind? The guy knows his shit. Any luck identifying our John Doe? Nope. Nothing in the database? Uh, I wish it was that simple. Didn't you look at the body? What about it? Oh, get this. The problem is not that the guy isn't in the database. 
The problem is that the killer cut the skin off the fingers of our John Doe. All I've been able to find is just blood markings everywhere. Thank you, asshole, for making my life easier. DNA? I'll have to take a look at that tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah, so any theories on how the guy was hanged? There are a few marks on the body. They aren't from a struggle with a killer, per se, but my theory is that whoever did this had a hell of a time stringing that big guy up. Drag marks? Exactly. It wasn't easy getting him up there. No so we're looking at someone smaller than the victim. Probably an average build? Yeah, that sounds about right. Terrence, did you notice that wall over there? The paint looks fresh. Yeah, I saw that. I'll have to call someone to come here tomorrow and take a closer look. I seriously don't have time for all this work. Have you talked to Davies about the lack of resources? <laughs> she knows this is BS. I heard that. Uh, all good, boss. I, I got it. Yeah. Hang in there, buddy. Yeah. Is this from the victim? It seems to be from their fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Roof access. Did the killer use this table to hang the guy? Maybe they used it for leverage. See anything interesting? We'd better. You know, Davies is going to grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. It's slowly gotten worse and worse. Are you all right? I'll manage. Hey, John, any idea what this is? No clue. Ask Terrence. Työparista on näköjään tosi paljon hyötyä. Artifakti. I wonder what this is. Hey, Terence. Yo, E. Do you know what this is? It was under the shelf. <laughs> no freaking clue. Looks old. Is it evidence? Are you confiscating it if I say it is? <laughs> Maybe. Does it have any prints? Ah, screw it. Keep it. But bring it to me tomorrow. Oh, and keep it clean. You said it looks old? 
Yeah. I've seen something similar. Ask me another day. When there's coffee. Terrence? Really, I, I, I don't know. Do whatever you have to do with it and bring it back. Hang in there, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Reed? McCoy? Oh, joy. Come talk to me when you're done asking around. We better make sure we know our facts before talking to Davies. See anything interesting? We better. You know, Davies is gonna grill us with questions, so let's comb through everything. Okay. Well, there are too many people here. I'll look at it later. Okay, this is spray paint the air the graffiti that told me or him mean. Vinky, 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 vinky. Hold us. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? Now, what have you found? How did the victim die? Suffocation. Suffocation. Who is our John Doe? We can't identify the victim yet because the victim's fingertips have been skinned. Any leads on the killer? The killer struggled with the hanging of the victim, which leads us to believe that the killer is smaller and skinnier than the victim. That's it? That's it. I may point out, however, that Terence is being overworked, so he's not exactly at the top of his game. When I have questions about how to run my branch, I'll ask you. Anything to add, McCoy? No. Wonderful. Not only are you too late, you're also worthless. Go get some sleep and get your asses to work tomorrow, early. I want to see you in my office as soon as you're in, Reed. Yes, sir. Can I ask a question? Why are we taking this case? Tomorrow. Now get out of here. Erica. Sir? How are you holding up? I'll be fine. Good. Be fine. Okay. Get some rest. I have a bad feeling about this one. You called? Erica, I know how much you care about what happened to Scott, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you off the case. Don't do this to me, Davies. I have to. It's been three years. This is bullshit! I'm so close to getting somewhere! No, Erica, you're not. I've seen your reports. You're going in circles. My dad put you up to this? Brian's worried about you. Listen, I understand how much this means to you, but it has to stop. I put my job on the line, letting you take on a case in which you're so personally involved. And I did it out of respect for your dad. But it's time to move on, Erica. Even your dad agrees. I can't. You have to, Erica. I'm afraid that's an order. Uh, are you all right? I just need a minute. Uh. What is? My, my visions. I told you to go see someone about that. Shh, they'll hear you. Do you still have that card I gave you? Yes, John, I do. But the whole hocus pocus thing, it's not me. Listen, Rose runs an antique shop. 
That thing you found, Terrence says it was an antique. So go ask her about it, and while you're there, maybe bring up these visions of yours. What can it hurt? If that will shut you up, fine. I'll go tomorrow. Go now. She's a night owl. Closed in the mornings, open all night. Great. That sounds perfectly normal. Go on. I'll hit your ride to the office. <laughs> uh, you know, that's what we got to do first. <laughs>